A casual user interacts with 15 to 20 cloud-based applications daily. WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, X, LinkedIn, Gmail, Paytm, you name it. For students, this number can exceed 30, while IT professionals unknowingly use over 100. That's how common cloud technology has become these days. By 2028, in less than three years, cloud computing will be an essential pillar of the tech industry. But even today, more than 85% of enterprises have adopted a cloud-first approach, creating a massive demand for cloud professionals. In India alone, hiring for cloud roles is projected to reach almost 2 million. Now that we've established the importance of cloud technology, Let's address the reason why you clicked on this video. What does a cloud engineer do? More importantly, who is a cloud engineer? Before that, if you want more such content, then don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss out on such updates from us. Okay, so let's get back to the video. A cloud engineer is an IT professional responsible for designing, building, and managing cloud infrastructure. Simply put, they create and maintain cloud architectures tailored to different clients' needs. Now let's understand what exactly a cloud engineer does. To get real insights, we consulted our hiring partners from AWS, Azure, and GCP. And according to them, cloud engineers handle architecture and development. This means they design and build cloud solution using cloud services. Now this is similar to using AWS's S3 buckets, Azure's SQL databases, or Google's compute engine to create cloud-based applications for their clients. Optimization and troubleshooting. They ensure systems run efficiently without any issues in any services, minimizing downtime and cutting costs. Security and performance management. They detect and fix vulnerabilities in cloud infrastructure, maintaining peak performance and data integrity. So in a nutshell, cloud engineers don't just build systems, they make them faster, more reliable and cost effective, while also providing ongoing support 24-7. Now, before moving on to the skills required, keep in mind that just like various specializations in medicine that follow an MBBS degree, such as orthopediacs, pediatricians, and dermatology, cloud engineering also offers multiple areas of specialization, such as cloud architect, the one who designs the overall cloud strategy and architecture, cloud security engineer, the one who protects cloud systems from hackers and other security threats, cloud DevOps engineer, who automates the CI CD pipeline, cloud software engineer, who writes the code as in builds the infrastructure in the form of code, which later runs in the cloud, cloud data engineer, they manage vast amounts of cloud data, cloud networking engineer, they make sure that the data moves smoothly between different cloud servers, site reliability engineer, they detect and fix cloud issues before they escalate. Lastly, we have cloud FinOps specialists. They help companies find cheaper, more efficient ways to use cloud resources. Now let's move on to the skills required. To be a cloud engineer with any specialization, you naturally need to have a good command over one of the popular cloud platforms and their services, such as AWS, Azure, or GCP. Next, you need to understand the Linux commands for file management and CLI concepts such as bash scripting, package management, and system monitoring. After that, you can shift your focus to networking concepts, which is crucial for cloud. Concepts such as virtual networks, subnets, load balancers, DNS, routing, VPN, and firewalls. Next, you need to learn infrastructure as a code, for which you can work with either Terraform, CloudFormation, or Ansible. Next, you need to understand some DevOps concepts such as version control, for which you will have to work with Git and GitHub. Then there is the CI CD pipeline, for which you will need Jenkins, GitHub Actions, or the AWS code pipeline. It would also be beneficial if you could look up Prometheus and Grafana as well, because these are powerful automation tools used for monitoring in DevOps. If you need a proper roadmap, make sure to check out this video. Here, along with the topics, I've also mentioned the platforms from where you can learn them for absolutely free of cost. Another thing I would like to add is, for the interviews, you can either be a breadth-first candidate or you can be a depth-first candidate. For a breadth-first candidate, think of someone who knows, say, Python, Java, JavaScript, SQL, and a bit of machine learning. They can discuss a wide range of topics, but they struggle when asked to implement <coughs> complex algorithms. A depth first candidate, on the other hand, is someone, say, who has mastered dynamic programming and can solve lead code hard problems in their sleep. 
but they have no clue how HTTP works or what a microservice is. So for an interview, ideally you should be able to find the right balance. As in, you should be aware of most topics and you should have enough depth in key areas to stand out. And with that, we reach the end of this video. Once again, if you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you never miss out on any updates from us. I'll see you guys next time.